Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing a love reading for the zodiac sign of Aquarius. So if you have Aquarius anywhere on your birth chart, this video may resonate with you. So don't forget to like this video. Subscribe. Thank you to everybody that has been subscribing to my channel and that's been a subscriber and not somebody that subscribed and then unsubscribed and then subscribed again. Like, you know, thank you to the people that's loyal. You. Okay, the loyal you subscribers. I appreciate you guys so much. So let's see. What's going on for Crazed Spirit Guides of the Night and Tessas and the Masters? My collective. Okay, we got the Ace of Cups, the Magician, and the Nine of Swords coming out. So it can be connected to a uh, water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And we have the Magician, Gemini, the Nine of Swords, Gemini. So yeah, Gemini heavy. Okay, I'm seeing here that you guys have a new love coming in. You could be having like new feelings for somebody and i'm seeing you guys could be pregnant or you could be about to get proposed to or married somebody here is trying to learn some type of new skill or they're trying to be creative on how they're going to propose to you or coming towards you and give you some type of offer here because this person don't want you to reject them it's like somebody is literally like up late at night overthinking something thinking the worst of something Having given herself like worry and fear because it's like when this person comes in towards you, they hope that you have these same feelings for them or they hope that you, whatever they're giving to you, that you don't reject them. So this person trying to be creative, I think it's actually cute. <laughs> like they're stressing themselves out, you know, but they shouldn't be worried, you know. We have the tower here. Yeah, this is about to change your life. Like this is about to be a huge step into something new for you with the tower card here, okay. And it's like you don't see this coming with the moon card. You know, somebody here is trying to be very secretive on how they're going to come in towards you. Okay, this person has been trying to put something up for you for the longest. Like, it probably not been the longest, but you know, they've been trying to like make something up. You know, to catch your attention. You know, something that you will like. They've been really thinking about this for a while. We have the Ten of Swords here, okay? So I'm seeing here that somebody is stressed out. They feel like they're not going to see you again. Like it's over between you guys. Like you either manifested a new connection with somebody. And that's why I'm seeing here's a new person and an old person, okay? It's an uh, old person that's want to come back and towards you and express their love and emotions and tell you that they're sorry, you know? And it's like they're 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 thinking negative, like you don't want me back, you know, like you're on to somebody new. Yeah, because this person was deceptive towards you, they was lying towards you, okay, they was being fake as hell. And it's like you eventually moved away from this person. You know, this person's gonna like to teach you a lesson. And it's like, um, yeah, you went through some type of painful ending with this person, they betrayed you, okay. And I'm seeing here, it's like this person could have betrayed you and they could have stayed with the karma that they already was dealing with, okay? That they either had hope that it was going to get better in that connection, so they was like, they left you behind. Or they feel like because they knew that person for a long time that, you know, they should stay there. Or they could have had family members, you know, encouraging them or friends encouraging them to stay where they was at. Or somebody could have been speaking bad about you, you know, and this person didn't have a mind of their own. So they took that advice and ran with it and chose the wrong person. Now this person could be going through some type of painful ending. And it's like they want to be with you. This person is crying. They're emotional because they chose the wrong person. And we have the King of Swords here. Yeah, now this person is just thinking. Like they they was thinking like they wasn't happy in that connection. They knew they wasn't, you know, but it's like this person was down themselves. And they felt like they had to be practical and they had to be mind over heart, you know, because their heart was with you. But it's like they thought that since they knew somebody longer or they this person probably had a belief like if you know somebody longer, you know, you probably be loyal to them than if somebody new come in, you know. It's like having a, a loyal client, you know, they always come in and tip you all the time, you know. And then you have somebody new that come in and it's like, which one, who are you going to go for, you know. You're going to go towards the lawyer client first, you know. 
But it's like, damn, you didn't even get a new person a chance. They could have, you know, they could have tipped you as well, you know? They could have probably tipped you better than the person that normally tip you. That You know, they're always coming towards you, you know? But this person wasn't thinking like that, you know? I'm sorry, you guys, for that um that noise that keep going off. I'm trying to fix that, get that situated because that's annoying, okay? But, yeah, and I'm also seeing this a new person, okay? This new person wants to come and express some emotions towards you, okay? But it's like they could be like, you know, getting out of a situation where they was treated wrong, you know? Every time they try to do something nice for the person that they was with, this person to treat them bogus or not be satisfied. So they feel like, you know, they're being hard on themselves because it's like they want to come in towards you and, you know, show you, you know, that they like you and stuff. But it's like this past connection that they was in, somebody treated them bogus. But I feel like you're not going to treat them bogus. And they, they don't need to come in with that type of perception of you. Like you're going to, you know, be an ass to them or a bitch. And we have here the Ten of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands. Yeah, this person also could have stayed in some type of situation. This person could have been married. Okay, but it's like um, this person could have stayed somewhere because of money. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. It was really just all about money. You know, it wasn't no cups there. You don't see no cups there. Yeah, and sex, Ace of Wands. Somebody could have fed into this person's sexual temptations and fantasies of what this person wanted to do to get this person stuck. Yeah, and I'm also saying this person could have been dealing with somebody that wanted them to work 24-7, always, you know, trying to get them involved in, you know, businesses or investments with different people, you know, so they can take from them. So they could take all that hard work that this person is doing and they could take it for themselves. Somebody who was selfish. Yeah. And I feel like whoever this person was dealing with knew that this person had somebody else that they was passionate about that was getting, you know, that was taking the attention off them. Somebody wanted the attention to be on them 24-7. So somebody tried to use what this person liked to, you know, their advantage. They know this person likes money and sex. And we have the Ten of Wands here, the Two of Pentacles, and the Four of Cups. So yeah, this person just ended up being burdened, you know, upset. Feel like they had a lot of responsibilities, the Ten of Wands here, because this person kept trying to put them in situations to get money, and they kept taking on these situations because this person didn't know how to say no. This person didn't know how to speak up, okay? And it's like they was juggling a lot. The Two of Pentacles here, this person was juggling a lot. They probably didn't even have no motherfucking time for themselves to take care of themselves and wash their ass. Yeah, and they, they eventually felt like it's not love here, Four of Cups. They felt bored and discontent here, like this is not love. You know, I'm working my ass off 24-7, trying to please this person, you know. Yeah. And don't think that this person didn't learn a lesson when they left you, because they most definitely did. We have the Judgment tier. Yeah. And the Two of Swords and the King of Pentacles. Yeah, this person's realized that they should have made a decision, but you know what they did? They just, they didn't, they took their time overthinking the situation and they chose to stay in a stalemate and be in denial and be confused. Well, act like they're confused. Okay, because of money reasons and sexual reasons. Okay, yeah, King of Pentacles. They got the money. This person was materialistic, you know. Yeah, and it only ended up being a five and one. She drama, chaos, competition, strife, tension. Yeah. And it's like this person didn't want to be there no more. This person f wanted freedom. They wanted excitement. And they wasn't getting it where they was at. You know? Yeah. And they, I'm seeing this person's intuition kept telling them to move forward. They kept getting the signs. Move forward. You know? This person could have tried to plan some type of um, a getaway for themselves. So they could get away from all this chaos. Yeah, see, this person kept getting messages intuitively that they need to walk away from things that no longer serve them. Or it's going to get worse for them. And they need to go towards this queen of cups here that's been trying to love them this whole time. And be kind and passionate towards them. And caring and nurturing. Yeah. I mean, we have the hermit, but this person has to do some self-reflection. And this person, start, I don't think this person went somewhere. They got, they got 
somewhere by themselves. I don't know if they went out to eat by themselves or they just went to the store by themselves. And they, they got some type of clarity or something. Or they got some type of um, truth. You could have told this person the truth or the, uh, some type of mother figure that's in this person's life could have told them some type of truth about what they need to do. Because it's not, yeah, it's somebody here that really genuinely love this person. Okay, they want the best for this person, gave them some advice. And told this person they need to, you know, reflect. And they took that advice. Yeah. Ten of Cups. Now this person wants the Ten of Cups. This happy family supportive dynamic. Yeah, they became illuminated that they need to move away and heal. And they and they realize why you moved away from them. They're trying they're understanding this connection and why everything is happening the way that it's happening. Page of Cups, Four of Wands. Yeah, this person wants to come back and apologize to you with the Page of Cups here. Yeah, and this could be a twin flame. This person wants to have a peaceful, happy, per life relationship with you, okay? Like, I don't know what other words to say. I'm thinking of all the good words that I can think of, but you already know. Like, this is just per happiness, per success, per victory. Yeah, three of swords, and they're heartbroken. They're heartbroken. They're upset with themselves because they didn't realize how much how much trauma they had and how much it was holding them back and how they allowed other people to, you know, have control over them. Yeah, now this person probably don't even have finances, okay? They feel left out. They feel lonely. They feel abandoned. And it's like this person right now, all they can do is focus on loving themselves. The King of Cups here. They're thinking about how much love and how how much affection and how many kisses and hugs they want to give to you. Like this person really want to make love to you and show you how much that they adore you. Okay? And they want to have victory and success with you. And I feel like you guys are. So there's some twin flame here that's going to be reconnecting with each other. Yeah, and this person was realizing that they was dealing with somebody here. That was codependent and possessive and controlling and toxic. With the devil card, they had addictions, okay, and what and wasn't really trying to help this person with their addictions. Really, was just trying to, you know, they probably had the same addictions here, you know. And it's like this person cared about what other people thought, you know, cared about public recognition too much, and they thought that they was getting, you know, victory in a situation, but it wasn't. It wasn't the right attention that this person was getting towards them. I'll tell you that. And whoever that they was dealing with was most definitely wasn't supposed to be with them while they was experiencing that. Because there's somebody here that was trying to, you know, beat this person at their own game in a way. You know? Yeah. We have the Justice and the Nine of Wands. Yeah, this person thought that this person was being fair to them. You know, like they thought that this was equal. They thought that, you know... This was the person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now this person wants to give you justice. And they know that when they come in towards you, that they can't have this player energy. They can't be in and out like they usually was with whoever they was dealing with, you know? They thought that that was... The fact that this person was allowing them to do what they wanted to do in this connection, they could have had an open relationship or whatever the case may be. They thought that this was how a relationship was supposed to be. This person, like, I give you attention, I give you money. Now, allow me to do what I want to do. You know? Yeah. Somebody here could be going through some type of ego death of the dark night of the soul. But this person is ending a situation here. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. They're planning a new seed. They're going towards a new beginning. With somebody here that's grounded themselves. That's abundant themselves with Queen of Pentacles here. They don't, you know, like, you got your own shit. Yeah, they're holding on to you. Four of Pentacles here. And they're planning on how they're going to come in towards you with the Two of Wands. Yeah. They're planning how they're going to come in towards you. Somebody that's ambitious, that's sexy. They feel like they don't know how to come in towards you because they feel like, you know, you're feisty or you probably could be sassy because you know you you know what they did. Like, you're a high priestess. Like, you're intuitive. You're spiritual. You know? And this person is realizing that. 
I don't know if you could do some type of work where, you know, you know, you read tarot cards or, you know, you make spiritual books, stuff like that, or you're into crystals and stuff. But this person could be watching you, which I feel like they are if you have social media. If you haven't blocked this person, <laughs> they're watching you, doing your goddamn thing. Okay, you most definitely are assertive and you're not allowing nobody to take you off your throne or, you know, make your confidence go down because they're insecurities. Okay. Like you're in your power right now. Yeah, you're celebrating life. You're around a good community of positive people. You know, and this person just ruined this and missing you. Six of Cups here. Okay? And now they're ready to invest in you. And I'm seeing you're not even really paying attention to this person. You're just working, you know, living life. Being the bad you are. And this person is in deep regret. Disappointed. Yeah, Page of Swords. They're watching you for sure. This person feels like they lost you. Yeah, because they was being deceptive here. Putting you in part of third party situations, lying, trying to win at all costs, be sneaky. And they could have just told you the truth and be honest. Yeah, see, Ace of Swords. They could have just told you the truth. You surrender and you let go because you got an, enough mental clarity on this person and their actions. And you was honest with yourself and you had the strength to move forward. And they're realizing that. And now you have all this good shit happening for you. The Wheel of Fortune. Good blessings, good fortune, good karma, all that. Yeah, and this person is healing. They're mentally exhausted from what the hell they went through. And they're hoping and wishing, you know, that you guys can reconcile with each other. And have this new beginning. The full card. Yeah. That's the tea, you guys. But I hope this video gave you guys a lot of clarity. If it did, don't forget to like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.